Like the Walk Me to Be More News dot com here at the Arena Players Town Hall meeting. Lou Fields has set it up. Uh, Carlton Douglas, you had some pointed things to say on cam uh, on stage. Said people didn't show up. They did. Uh, did. Did the party give them anything to show up for? No. Oh. In my opinion, it did. And you said you called this election weeks, months out? Weeks, months, or well, well, anybody else. Well, explain to me how come you got it right on uh, your radio show, but nobody else, I mean, Be More News got it right. Be More News, I heard you. DMVDaily.com, he got it right. He got it right. But yeah, all the other Frank media. Frank Conway show got it right. Frank Conway. But, but they said that Brown on, on the mainstream media was ahead. Yes, they did. Not only until the bitter end. Until the bitter end, and the so-called paid Democratic pundits that called each radio show every day were hollering about they were 13 points ahead. I don't know whose poll they were talking about because I had never seen that poll, and I knew what was going to happen because we was not going to show up, and we had no real reason to show up for Anthony Brown. We've talked about on our show the innate presumption that many of us African Americans have that white Republicans are racist. Right. Well, and it's, that's, it's just presumed. It's just presumed because of the National Republican Party. Mm -hmm. And that has sifted over just because it's the National Republican Party. Then we take the mindset, a lot of us take the mindset that well, if it's that way on the national basis, it, it, must, that, it must be everywhere. I got you. Yeah. But on that same note, we give white Democrats a pass. Yes. In Absolutely. terms of being racist. Absolutely. Nobody ever came out and said to Senator Byrd from West Virginia before he died, mm -hmm. why was he at one time a member of the Ku Klux Klan? Mm -hmm. And he was. Mm -hmm. But nobody ever asked that. Nobody ever even brought it up. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's also, so we presume white Republicans are racist. We presume white Democrats are, are not racist and when, when they can be. But, but then there's also, and, and, and it's a factor for me in this election in Maryland and Baltimore, that the black Democrat is going to look out for the black community. Which is not happening. Which is not happening. So when they say vote for the black guy to be governor, I have questions. Not only that, you're talking about you being asked to vote for a black guy who wants to be governor who has never really said that he's black. Oh, so I'm not the only one that's heard that. Huh? Hello. <laughs> okay. That's why you're my nephew. Oh, okay, so, 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 so 2016, uh, citywide. 2016 citywide is going to be very interesting. Only in the fact that, that we only better have two one on one black persons running. If you do, if you wind up with four or five people like you did last time, incumbent wins. Okay. No, I'm going to tell you what else might happen. Mr. Bill Coleman, Cole. or Bill Coles, Bill Cole. who used to be councilman, who's now in charge of the Baltimore Economic Development, I believe, in my opinion, will be put up to run as the white candidate and come right down the middle and win while everybody else splitting up the black well, vote. Well, well, and so that's a great point. I don't know if we're going to catch Frank Conway before leaving here. Here's a, here's a, 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 a question in that same soup. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the next black Republican? Good question. In Baltimore. That's a good question. Man. Frank, Frank, that, Frank was, already made it. that was a statement. Right. But it's the second one. Okay. It's a, and it's a statement that was heard across the bow of the Democrats. Mm. Trust me. Because the Democrats did nothing to support Frank, his daughter, or his son. So what, what if, you, you gave some possibilities on stage of what happens if um, the Republicans... You know, Republican president, Republican Senate, Republican Congress. You, you talked about it on the state level as well. Well, what if black people flooded the Republican Party? You didn't mention that option. If black people flooded the Republican Party, yeah. then you see a whole different ball game, not only in the city, but in the state. Don't that make sense? Absolutely. 
In fact, I, I, go, I go you one better than that. You got 40 some black representatives who are Democrats mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. If they were to team up with the Republican mm -hmm. brand mm -hmm. who are in the legislature right now, mm -hmm. they could get anything done they wanted because they got the votes. Mm -hmm. And we did get stuff done at Coppin. Yes. Coppin, you know, I grew up down the street from it. it. It now looks like a bona fide institution of higher learning. But if you had the Congress, uh, the state black caucus, mm -hmm. And the Republican Party leverage together, together. Leverage together. And besides, Martin O'Malley's not there. I mean, he Hello. did push his agenda on our legislators pretty heavily. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. There's no reason that you got 40 some members of a black caucus that couldn't get money for HBCUs last year. Mm -hmm. That was ridiculous. Your radio show is when? On Wednesdays, 1 to 2, WFBR, 1590 AM on your dial. The one and only Carlton Douglas. We appreciate you. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth.